We have a lot of testing available in Southeast Michigan, but what we want is to make sure that you know that the priority right now is for individuals that are in nursing homes or in congregate settings, like in homeless shelters or getting dialysis, hospital workers as well, and then essential workers that, that have to, to be reporting. So like th- those are like our first responders. So all of those individuals have to have symptoms to get tested. So the city of Detroit, we just started doing rapid testing so we can get results back in 15 minutes. So again, it's mostly for um, first responders because we want to make sure that they can be back at work. So we're getting pretty quick turnaround because we had a lot of the police department that was on quarantine for up to the 14 days. But now that we have rapid testing, if they're negative, then they can return to work. So that helps relieve a lot of the anxiety of our first responders and our healthcare workers as well. Unfortunately, we've had 5,834 cases as of yesterday, and we've had 247 deaths. And what we really want to focus on right now is those congregate care settings, so those nursing homes and the dialysis centers and homeless shelters. So just a little bit on what we're doing to address the outbreak. So we have about 27 nursing homes that exclude long-term care facilities in the city of Detroit. And we've reached out to most of them at this point, actually reached out to all of them, but we've had um, cluster outbreaks in about half of them. And so as of yesterday, we've started to do testing with that rapid testing that we have available. We have a team that goes out and we test anybody that um, has symptoms. And we're also offering the same for staff so that staff don't have anxiety and fear. So either they'll come back um, negative and they can return to work using the proper PPE that we're always talking about, or they're to stay at home until um, approved to return to work either by their physician or they they could call me as well. Additionally, we have a homeless quarantine shelter. If somebody is showing any signs or symptoms of COVID in a regular shelter in which they're staying, we have nurses that go out three days a week. We do temperature checks. We ask for symptoms. And if they fit the criteria, they get sent to our quarantine shelter. For the city of Detroit, about 43% of cases have been in men, about 52% in women, and then about 4% in um, gender neutral categories. About 42% of the cases have been in individuals over 60 and 58% in individuals between 20 and 60. So compared to China, you know, we're seeing numbers in a, in a younger population. And, you know, there's a lot of concern about why that's happening in Detroit. It's also happening in Southeast Michigan, where we have a di- different demographic profile. But, you know, a lot of my concern is the underlying comorbidities in the city of Detroit. So that just means like people that have other health conditions like obesity, blood pressure, diabetes, things like that. We have really, really no, low numbers in individuals under 19. Just like in China, they had about 1% to 2% of cases in individuals under 19. We're seeing the same thing. But we still have to be careful because we don't know if children can spread it asymptomatically. Also for the death rate, just comparing to other, other cities and jurisdictions. So for every 100,000 people that live in the city of Detroit, we're seeing 37 deaths. And that's unfortunate. It's very high. And we need to keep working on community mitigation as much as we can. So we need you all to work with us. Um, that's in comparison to New York City, which is experiencing 51 deaths per 100,000 people. Wayne and Oakland County are seeing 18 and 19 with that same uh, ratio. So we're, um, we're double what Oakland and Wayne are, are um, experiencing. Also, if anybody um, is employed and they need to get tested, they can call our phone number at 313-876-4000. So what we want is for people to first go to their primary care and try to get a prescription to get tested at the state fairgrounds. That's probably the easiest place to get tested quickly. And if you can't get through with your primary care doctor, then you can call this 313-876-4000 number and they they will direct you to some of our federally qualified health centers that can also do testing. Why are there parts of the city, such as Southwest Detroit, not showing up as having uh, many cases? So interestingly, um, uh, my epidemiologist and I looked at the numbers yesterday, and we found that the cases are less than 5%. So what I'm suspecting is that people are just not getting tested Mm -hmm. for whatever barriers um, are posed. And so um, I'm in the process of talking to Wayne State University about um, mobile outreach strategies. That's kind of the next phase. We have sites where people can come to us, but we need to start going into the neighborhoods. And we realize that's a challenge. And I was really happy that I got to speak to Lissette yesterday or the day before to really underscore what the need is because, you know, we're, we're in the thick of this pandemic. So we really need the community to call us out on things that we're missing. 
And so I welcome anything from any of you at any time to improve what we can do. Another question has just come in that says some clinics are charging 100 to 200 to be assessed. Could um, you speak to this? Yeah, so I would mm-hmm. probably go to a federally qualified health center. I, I think okay. that, you know, it, it, it caters to uninsured, underinsured, and always has. That's the history. Um, I would not pay 100 to $200 um, to get an assessment over telehealth. Just uh, one more question. Is the city giving out math? If not, where can people get a mask now that it's recommended to wear them? What kind of mask should everyday people wear? Well, that's a tough one. I did hear that the city of Detroit is providing masks for everybody that works for DDOT, which I think is a wonderful thing, again, for essential staff that are out there every day. The city or the health department city of Detroit are not giving them out to the public as far as I know, because we have to preserve it for the essential workers. So, you know, really any sort of protection is good protection. If it is a cloth mask, use it. If you have a surgical mask and you, and you have a cloth mask you can wear over it, that's better. Um, some people don't have that. So a bandana or a shirt, whatever it is, or a scarf, you know, the more the better. It's a virus that is highly transmissible It may not cause severe symptoms in a lot of people, but it spreads like wildfire. So the more layers, the better. You can find more at OneDetroitPBS.org or subscribe to our social media channels and sign up for our One Detroit newsletter.